So now it's time to add materials one by one and then trying out different palettes. Of course, like the composition, maybe we can tweak it a little bit more. Nothing is ever like fully done based. You can always have some stuff that you can tweak. So maybe we can add a few colors and maybe we want to move stuff around to make it look more balanced in a way. If we go to the material preview right now, you're going to see that we only have color in the wisdom crown plane, which has this turquoise color. And of course, if we go to the rendered view, with, if we press Z, you see that we don't have any materials anywhere. So let's change this. And usually whenever I do, I start with the objects that are transparent, like the special materials, like transparent, uh, the stuff that emits light, stuff like that. So if we go to the material tab here, you check the helmet item. It doesn't have any material. So if you want to add one, you just press on the new here, and then you'll get this default principled material. You have tons of variables that you can tweak. Of course, you can go through each one of them. I suggest that you go try a few ones here and there. And some of them are self-explanatory, like the base color, for example. You see that you change the base color. If you increase the metallic, now you have a metallic material. If you reduce it to zero, then back to this plastic look. Roughness, of course, we reduce the roughness, super glossy item. And then if we increase the roughness, as you can see, here it looks like a solid object. There's the emission as well. If we increase the emission from this black color to something else, we emit light. So yeah, there's a lot of different stuff. But for now, we want to make the helmet here into a glass material. So the usual thing would be making this color white, uh, reduce roughness, the low, so like zero, so it's glossy. Then you see that transmission attribute here, we decrease it max and yep, we have a glass material for our helmet. And of course we can rename this to glass. And this is not the only way to make a glass material. Also, if you click on this, instead of the principal shader, we can get the glass PSDF, which basically looks the same. And um, maybe it's a little bit like a basic setup, but it works. One other thing that you would notice is we have this fish bowl effect in a way. If you like it, you can keep it that way, but usually I prefer to not have distortion. It depends on the model, of course, but this is maybe not the best. Of course, if you want to avoid having distortion, you can just have some sort of sickness for the helmet. So we select the helmet and we add a modifier, the one called Solidify. And now if we check the rendered view, now we don't have any distortion. What other materials that we can add? Let's go to the material tab here and we have the glass. We can add the material for the star, so. And then we want it to emit light that's yellowish. So the emission one, we increase it and make it yellow. Then maybe increase the emission strength to two. And then, of course, I want to assign all the other star objects the same material. You can go select this, for example, and then Browse all the materials that you have. The other way is if you select each object, so this one and then shift the other one, oh, not the planet, select the stars. And then the last object would be the one with the material that we want. Just press this arrow and then copy material to select. And now we have all of them here. You can check how it looks. That looks good. Of course, if you want to check out the render, like you want to render this full thing, you can just press F12 and then just wait. Yeah, it looks good. What else can we add? Material preview again. I want to create materials for the spacesuit. So let's start with this one. Then let's make this like a light purple kind of thing, something like that. But this is going to be the main for the spacesuit. 
I want to create another one. So if I want to add another material for the same object, I can just press the plus icon here. And then if I want to add this spacesuit main material, again, you can just add it. Of course, if I click here and start tweaking it, it's going to tweak the same material because it's basically the same. But I want to have a duplicate from this. So if you go here, you'll find this icon with two pages. Click on it. Now we duplicated the main spacesuit color. So we just rename it to secondary, and then increase the saturation, and then increase the value a bit so it's darker. Of course, I want to assign the material to this shape and this shape. So I go to edit mode, select this shape with L, L again, and then assign it. And now we have the space suit materials there. Maybe it's a little bit dark. Maybe I'll just make it a bit brighter. Desaturate it. Then maybe the main also can be a little bit brighter. Okay, this is looking good. Now I want to copy this materials to all the objects here. So we can just select the backpack. Maybe also the antenna. And then select the arm. This is the last object. And then with the arrow, copy materials you selected. Then of course, L, L, and then assign the secondary colors to each object that we want to have, like secondary materials. So the belt maybe can remove. If we want to remove a material, we can just remove the negative icon here. If you just press this, now it's removed. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can make this darker right now. I think it's good so far. What else? Of course, we can do the same for the planet. Planet 1. Then make it this pink color. That's good. Maybe I want the ring to have a brighter thing, so plus icon, planet one, duplicate it. So it's a planet one secondary, make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more desaturated. And of course, I have to assign it. So now, okay, um, I think it looks good, but we need to add an edge loop much better. Uh, what else? We can add also the colors for the other planets, so real quick. This planet, maybe a turquoise -ish blue, something like that. This is planet 2. We can a different color, something darker. And maybe we can also make the background a little bit different, so maybe something like this, maybe. We should have this some kind of purple, but maybe I'm moving to the bluish tint. It's all trial and error. You just try different colors and see what works out for you. And you can always just bring out one of those color palette web apps, websites. But you can just keep tweaking and maybe try some of them with your renderer. Okay, now we have the banana. Also, the banana here is super rough, so we can add the subdivision modifier for it. something like this maybe also select the edge loops and make it a little bit more chunky then also select here and select the banana so now we have the banana colored as well the tail we can have the monkey fur material so we have this material here which is oh, i think it looks good i'm not super fan of this one so maybe I'll uh, maybe make it a little bit brighter. The cable, maybe we can use the space suit. Or this thing, maybe we can use the space suit one. And then for the buttons, we can create our own button material. And then we can just make it purple. 
And then select the buttons and of course assign them to your spoon. You can make something like this or if you want to make it something like glass, you can also do that. Also, if you want, I think that's also would be better. We have this screen here, so maybe um, a material that emits light. So plus icon here, new. Add a um, material that emits light. Plus green thing. Then assign to this one polygon, this material. Let's see, this looks good. Of course, if you want to check how it looks, really, you just press F12 and wait for the render time, the, the computer to just render everything and let's see. Okay, looking good already. Okay, let's hide the helmet and start like adding materials to the face. So first of all, the monkey fur. We have the monkey fur here. That's good. For the face, we can add the skin color. For these, I just select them with L as always, and then add a new material. We name to monkey skin. Have some kind of an orange, pale orange colors, maybe a little bit brighter than that, and maybe the fur would be more saturated, so there's a difference. I think it's fine. Of course, for the teeth, maybe a white material that's super glossy, so uh, assign it, and then of course, roughness is zero. You have to make a material for the tongue as well, so new material, song, and then make it pink color. Also, I think for the face I want to add a nose, so go to edit mode, add a cube, maybe make it a little bit wider, something like this, and then add an edge loop, then move it to, wait, Assign it the monkey skin. I think it looks good. Now the eyes are... Wait, let me check out. Maybe you can reduce the size here a little bit. And then for the eyes, we can just add a new material and then the eyes. Then make it a little bit dark and then uh, reduce the roughness really. Zero and then let's check how it looks. Wait, uh, maybe desaturate the skin a little bit more. Then let's see. Oh, of course, the antenna thing. Maybe we can have the ball and the button here as a secondary color. And last but not least, also, I don't like the cap, it's too big. So maybe make it a little bit smaller. Also, this edge loop, maybe you can move it to the back a little bit. Okay, maybe also just take the polygons here. Press Alt and select this one. And then press Control plus on the notepad. And then make it a little bit smaller. So that we have a small cap instead of this big one. And of course, select the polygon like the faces here, and then press C, increase the brush with the wheel, and then like all this part, and then maybe move it a little bit smaller. Not too bad, not too bad. Check if we can select all the edges around here. That's fine. I mean, looks good, but also we need to add materials for it, so cap. Then you can have the cap secondary as what color? Let's select all the polygons here and then click control plus to increase the selection or again select and select more or less and more. Control plus on the notepad. Then Let's make this reddish pink sign. Let's see how it looks. It's um, too saturated. Yeah, it's too saturated. Maybe a little more than desaturated, so that's fair. Mm, 
And the tongue is also a little bit too saturated, so maybe we can increase it a little bit. Yeah, saturated. So this is desaturated. Then I think it's a little bit better. <laughs> 